next level in your career. Because every single one of you are capable of more than where you are right now, 100%. Okay? Now, the average career span of a, of a, a professional or semi-professional footballer ranges in between 8 to 12 years. Now that is incredibly short in comparison to the other careers you have out there. Most people have 45 years to get to the top of their game. 45 years to reach that peak, to get into the elite. You guys have just 8 to 12. So I'm going to start off by asking you guys a question right now. What are you going to do in them 8 to 12 years that's going to set you apart from your competition? What are you going to do in them 8 to 12 years that's going to push you to that next level? The best players in the world, guys, the best players in the world, they're incredibly hungry. Nothing stops them. They have to be dragged off the training pitch. Cristiano Ronaldo. No one has to ask him to go on a training pitch two, three hours after the training's finished to practice and perfect his game. No one has to push him onto that pitch. He does it all by himself. He's on that pitch for hours perfecting his craft. Whether it's dribbling around cones, aiming for a target in the goal, non-stop pushing himself to that next level. Because he realises that the only way you're going to become successful in life is through sacrifice. You've got to be able to sacrifice in order to get to that next level. Nobody becomes successful living in their comfort zone. Nobody. That's a fact. Now, the truth of the matter is, guys, you've got an opportunity of a lifetime right here, right now. So I'm going to put it out there to you now. What are you going to do with this opportunity of a lifetime? Are you going to just let it slip or are you going to start pushing yourself to that next level? One thing I, I asked myself when I was, I was homeless at 17 years old, and one thing I asked myself in that period of my life, because I realised that suffering happens at every part of your life, whether you're rock bottom or whether you're top of your game, you're going to feel suffering, it's going to happen. And if anyone tells you different than lying to you, there's going to be suffering in life, full stop. You're going to ask yourself a question. Do you want to suffer to just survive? Or do you want to suffer to succeed? Do you want to suffer to just exist? You've got an opportunity here. Are you just going to let every day pass and just exist within the opportunity? Or are you going to suffer to push yourself into the elite? To become world class? Now, one thing I learned whilst I was down and out. Talent you were born with. Talent is something you, you're given from a, from, from a child. Something you're born with. It's skill. That is earned. Skill is the thing that will take you to that next level. Talent will not get you to the top alone. Cristiano Ronaldo did not get to be the West world best player on talent alone. It was skill that he had to accompany. He had to take everything he had to push himself to that next level. It's skill that gets you to that next level, not talent. You can have all the talent in the world, but if you ain't got the heart and desire to push yourself, you ain't going to become nowhere near at the level you can get yourself to. A perfect example for you guys is David Beckham. David Beckham, in my opinion, was not born and blessed with the most amazing natural ability. He wasn't. <coughs> David Beckham wasn't the most fastest player in the world. He wasn't the most skillful, flair player in the world. What David Beckham done from a young age is he was dragging that picture of his dad every single day, practicing for hours and hours and hours. He used to hang an extra large tyre off a goalpost and he would practice whipping that ball into that goalpost, into that tyre, over and over and over again until he perfected his game. And he worked hard. He did that in December when it was cold and windy, and he did it in July when it was roasting hot. It didn't matter about the weather, it didn't matter about how uncomfortable it made him. He pushed himself to his limits every single day from a child. And that's why he eventually became the most famous footballer that's probably ever lived. It's about pushing yourself to that next level. If you want to get champions praise, if you want to get the rewards in life, it's not going to come to you on a plate. You've got to push yourself to get to that level. It takes a champion's mentality to reach the elite. It's a very fine line between success and failure. And that fine line is about one mile outside your comfort zone. You've got to step out of your comfort zone and push yourself. That's where the growth happens, when you're outside of your comfort zone. If you guys, at the end of training, go back and kick back and drink a beer, or go back and play on the Xbox, or whatever you may do, how is that going to improve you in your game? If you feel like there's somewhere you can improve, get on that pitch and push yourself. Don't sit around waiting for it to come to you. It ain't going to come to you, you've got to go and grab it. I mean, 
There's hundreds of thousands, millions of kids across the globe that would dream about being in the position you're in right now. To have the opportunity that you've got right now. You guys dreamed of this from young, young kids. And now you've got the opportunity, now is the time to take it. It's time to push yourself to that next level now. It ain't going to come to you on a plate. I want to ask you guys a question. When did you stop believing? If I was sitting in your shoes right now, I'd be saying to myself, there's no way I'm going to that next game defeated. When I look in the opposition's eyes, the player standing opposite me, I'm going to look him dead in the eye and I'm going to say to him, you're going to have hell this game. The next time we play against each other, you're going to want to pull a sickie because you ain't going to want to face me again. I'm going to run you into the ground. You, might, you may not be the most skillful player in the world, but if you out him, if you outwork him, he ain't going to want to face you again. I remember reading about Arsenal when they went a full season undefeated. Every single game they would sit before the match and they would vision in their mind how they're going to play. They would play over and over in their head what they're going to do, how they're going to push themselves to that, to that next level. They literally made themselves believe there was no way we're going to be defeated in this game. There's no way. There was times when they may be 1-0 down or 2-0 down, but they didn't have that quitting mentality. Because in their mind, there was no chance they were going to lose. And that's why they did it for a full season. So they were never intimidated by any opposition. Your next game may be against first or second. I'm not too sure. Whatever your next game is. But when you do come across the higher league table, don't be intimidated by them. You've already felt the, the pain of losing. You've already felt the pain of going through that. You've, you've felt something they haven't. What you need to do is take that pain, take the lesson from it, and leave the rest behind and move forward. Because pain is what makes us grow. Pain is what we need in our lives in order for us to change. Nobody would make a change in their life for themselves if they didn't have to go through pain. If, you, if the, everything was comfortable in their life, they wouldn't want to make a change. The problem is with a lot of people, a lot of players nowadays, they're seeking champions' praise without putting in the champions' hard work. They're seeking champions' reward. That doesn't come to one. You've got to go and grab that. You've got to become a champion first. You've got to be working that hard that you forgot about wanting to be praised for doing that good pass. If you make a good pass or you, you bang a goal in the top corner, don't, don't, sit, don't stand there admiring what you've done. Get back out there and do it, do it all over again. That's what the best do. If you're performing well in a game, don't think, that's it now, I can sit back, I'll, I'll play better than anyone. No, that's a lot of rubbish. You've got to keep pushing yourself. Have the, don't have the best game of, uh, don't be the best player in the game. Be the best player of the season. Be the best player of the league. When I was, when I was homeless without any food, any, I didn't have a job, I didn't have any education, no hope. I, I said to myself in that situation in my life, look, I don't need the comfortable things in life because if I get comfortable with being a loser, if I get comfortable with just existing in this world that I'm living in, I was living on a ripped up mattress in an abandoned building, surrounded by drug dealers, drug addicts, murderers. If I got comfortable in that surrounding, I would have never made a change. I physically pushed myself that next level because I said, I'm going to suffer. I'm not going to have a meal today. What have I done to eat that meal? What have I done to earn that meal? What have I done to take me out of this situation? I need to get comfortable in my, in my situation. That's what I'm saying to you guys right now. Don't get comfortable where you are right now. Don't get comfortable just existing. Now you may be top of the league or 20th in the league. It doesn't matter. I'll be saying the same thing to you. If you're top of the league, I'll be saying to you right now, don't just get comfortable being top of the league. Have, be the team that earns more points in one season than any other team ever. Push yourself to that next level all the time. Get the most out of who you are. You all have the ability to be so much more. Don't just stop when you already achieved one thing. Push yourself to keep achieving. That's what the best in the world do. I'm telling you now, guys, if you don't start pushing yourself to that next level, you ain't never going to have the life that you had dreamt of from a young age. You've all, you've all obviously got talent. You're all here for a reason. You've all, at one stage in your life, you all had a champion's mentality. That's how you got here right now today. You all had that mentality of, I'm going to achieve. And then you got to this stage, now it's time to push yourself to that next level. You've got teammates around you 
that want to watch you progress, that want to help you, want to push you. You've got, manage, you got a manager who wants to see you go to that next stage in your career, that wants to push you to be successful, that wants the club to be successful. What's that animal that you're wearing on your, on your badge there? Can someone tell me what it is? Tiger. You're walking on a picture of a tiger, you've got to play like tigers. You've got to think like a tiger. When a tiger comes in to prey, it ain't going to quit. It's going to fight to death. That's what you need to behave like when you're on that pitch. Do yourself proud. So when you go in that change room at the end of the game, you can look at every one of your teammates eyes and you can say, I'll give it 110%. Leave it all out there on the pitch. Don't come back in, keep your slippers on and jump in the shower and think it's all said and done. Push yourself to that next level. I've actually done some study on you guys and, and I've watched a few of your your games and I've, I've been analysing some of you guys. And you may be 20th in the league right now, but you, every single one of you had have potential. You were actually at the wrong end of the table. Somewhere on the line, whatever it may be, you guys have accepted defeat as a way of being. You guys are much better than that. You guys are a talented bunch of people. You guys should be at the other end of the table right now, 100%. So you've got to start now think, changing your thought process. Don't go into a game and think, oh, we're playing first now. We're going to play for a draw. Don't play the rest of the season saying, let's just play to survive. That's a load of rubbish. You don't play nothing to survive. You play to be champions every single game. You go on that pitch. You show them no respect. <coughs> they're just human beings like you. They had no difference to you. The only difference is they wanted it more than you. Now it's time to change that. You've got to want it more than them. As I say, guys, if I had that quitters mentality when I was homeless, if I had that mentality of I'm just going to give up when times get hard, when I was a bit of suffering that I had to go through, I had numerous setbacks in my life. Once upon a time, I would have been sitting where you guys are right now, right now. I was once playing for the Birmingham City Youth Football Club. And I'll talk to you about that a bit later on as to why I didn't progress in my career. I was once asked to box for Team GB. I was at that level. I went from being a novice to pushing myself and training like a world champion. I remember when I met Frank Bruno, and I said to him, whilst I was in his training method, what I was going through, and I said to him, this is what I'm doing, can you give me some advice? And he started laughing with this big, hearty laugh that Frank Bruno has, and he said, I mean, I'll try and tone this down a little bit, he said, but he said, effing hell, you're training for my world title, that he had understand. And that made me feel good, because I realised I was pushing myself harder than anyone else out there. Mark Tolson, when he was interviewed, the commentator said, what time did you start the training? He said, 4.30. The guy says to him, why do you train at 4.30? Why do you get up so early? He said, because I get up at 4.30 because I know that my opponent's in bed sleeping. I'm going to get the edge. I'm going to push myself to that next level. So whilst he's sleeping, I'm getting fitter. I'm getting stronger. So I don't know what time your usual training schedule finishes, but you need to be on that pitch literally, and your manager needs to be pulling you off that pitch. You don't want to be walking straight to the change room, getting dressed and going home. Until you earn that. When you start climbing that big table, that's when you can start kicking off. One thing that somebody said to me when I was in this position in my life, and it really rung a bell in my mind because it's very true, and take this on board guys, because this, this, this little thing will help you every time you move forward. And that was, if I keep on doing what I've always done, I will just keep getting what I've always got. I don't want to prepare to keep getting the same result. If something isn't working, you've got to change it. You don't keep doing what you've always done if you're not getting the result you want. You've got to do something else. And in most people's circumstances, all that is is pushing themselves to that next level and getting out of their comfort zone. That's what you need to remember. It's the fine line between success and failure is comfort outside of your comfort zone. That's where you need to be if you want to develop into world-class players. I remember when I was in this position in my life, the odds were completely against me. In, a, in theory, I was 20th in the league table of life. I was at the bottom end of life. I was struggling. So what did I do in that situation? Did I say to myself, I've got a victim mentality. Why me? Why am I in this position in my life? Why did this happen to me? I used to think that when I first got into that position. And I realised that the only reason I'm in this position in my life is because I'm thinking like a victim. And as long as you think like a victim, you'll play like a victim. 
And victims don't win. Victims are called victims for a reason. Victims are not winners. You've got to change that victim mindset to become a champion. So I've done that in that moment in my life. I said, no more victim, no more asking why me. Stop blaming everybody else. One thing that I hate, guys, one thing that's a pet hate to me, is when people, Brendan Rodgers said it the other week, I'm a Liverpool fan, and Brendan, Brendan Rodgers wrote in the paper said, we're, we're low on luck. We're struggling with luck right now. I, that word does not ring in my, I can't listen to that. If you're sitting around waiting for some exterior force called luck to come into your life and change it, you ain't going to go nowhere. Luck has nothing to do with it. Luck is for the lottery. Luck isn't for, the, for your career. Don't sit around waiting for luck to come along because you've been waiting for a very long time. You need to go out there and create your own luck. You have literally have the steering wheel of your own career. It's up to you where it goes. Don't jump out of the driving seat into the passenger seat and say, one luck, take me to where I need to go. That's just literally the road to failure. Never, ever, ever take that word out of your vocabulary. Never say, I'm waiting for luck to take me to that next level. Luck isn't going to get you nowhere. It's all about yourself. Take responsibility. Stand up and take responsibility. From this day forwards, change your mindset into being champions. Take your career seriously.